give them a few more minutes. I think that's them now. <sighs> Sorry we're late. Hey, I, I heard about your bike getting stolen. You okay? Yeah, well, what can you do? How can anyone steal a bike? Yeah, it's like ripping off a part of somebody. I thought about that. It really ticked me off that someone could take something that was so important to me. Because once you have the right bike, it's yours forever, no matter who has it. But it's not a total loss. David came up with a story about it. It's about this kid and his bike. A bike that meant so much to him that he took it everywhere he went, including his own grave. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Shiny Red Bicycle. Yeah, I'm all right. You were having another bad dream. It's okay, Ben. Go back to sleep. Honest? Honest. Good night, Mike. Night, kiddo. Looks like someone's gonna fall asleep in his corn wackies. What? Are you all right, honey? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm still, I'm still tired, that's all. Trouble sleeping? No, I'm just, you know. He had another nightmare. Not another one. Oh, Mike. You guys say that like I can do something about it. Well, for one thing, you could stop blaming yourself for Ricky's death. Yeah, I was there. I had a chance to save him, and I couldn't. Honey, you know how much your father and I loved Ricky. He was almost one of the family. You have to stop knocking yourself around over his death. Stop blaming yourself, and the nightmares will go away. Yeah. Keep, Keep out, out of this. this. Oh, right. The Jets don't stand a chance this season. Excuse me? Hello. What about Sandor? They managed the key. <laughs> yeah, like last year. All right. Hey, it was out half the season. Uh, yeah, and you'll probably get beat up again. You heard it here first.
Uh, nothing. Forget it. Let's go. Let's go. And so, with only months to go, NASA met John F. Kennedy's challenge to put men on the moon before the end of the decade. The three chosen for this historic flight were Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Mr. Buckley. Mr. Buckley, are you with us? Ground control to Michael Buckley. Nabbed. Paying attention, are we? Uh, yes, Miss Westwood. Good. Then maybe you would tell everybody what we were talking about before I had to stop and bring you back to Earth. Uh, well, I, I, uh... Not quite. We're not covering I or uh until next semester. <laughs> nice try, though. Now, maybe you're having a bad day. But I had my in-laws over for dinner last night, and needless to say, I need you to cut me a little slack. Okay? Okay. Good. Now, back to the moon. It was widely believed that Bobby Kennedy was going to keep his brother's policies in check if he were to become president. However, after his assassination in 1968, Ricky. What? Who was Ricky? You mentioned the name Ricky in the classroom. As Westwood said, you kept repeating it. Why? He was a friend. Did you two have a fight? Uh, I, I don't know. Here, put this on the back of your neck. You said he was your friend. Did you fight? He was my friend. I... But he's dead. About five years now. Ricky. Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about the Haggerty boy. Leave it on. You still have a hard time with his death? Sometimes. How so? Well, once in a while, I get these dreams. They're nightmares, really. I'm always trying to save Ricky's life, but just like at the bridge, I can't. I keep hoping that the next time I'll be able to, the next time I can help him. You know, they never even found his body. But you know that when the dream does come out the right way, it won't change the fact that your friend is gone. It's just a thing. He's not really gone. I saw him today. What? Uh, I mean, I'm not feeling too well. I'm going to let you go home early today. I think you don't feel well because of these nightmares and lack of sleep. You get some rest this weekend, and if you don't feel better by Monday, you better have your parents call your family physician. stinks, you know? Why'd you have to take me to see Dr. McBride anyway? Oh, I don't know. Maybe going into shock at the nurse's station and raving about seeing your dead best friend might have had something to do with it. You know, I've never missed the first day of fishing season. Not once. Not even the year Ricky died. Mike, I'm sorry. The doctor said bed rest, and that's exactly what it's gonna be. You don't think I'm crazy, don't you? We just I'm don't not, watch you it. know. I saw what I saw. I know you think you did. But I also believe the doctor when he says that you should be in bed. Stop the car. I, I just saw Ricky riding his bike down Hanover Road. Dad, please, this will prove I'm not crazy. Sorry. 
That's it. It's bedtime for you, pal. Didn't, didn't you just think for just a second that was Ricky? No, son. You didn't? Mike, Ricky's dead. Let's go home. Ruth, please, enough of the thermometer. The poor kid's been poked and prodded enough for one day. The doctor says he just needs some rest. Aha, uh -huh. I knew it. 99.6. Good. When he hits 100, we'll sell. I don't get it. It's a joke about stocks, Ben. I'm gonna go get a movie. Can we get you anything while we're out? Uh, no, I think we're all right, Dad. Thanks. Let's go, kiddo. Can I stay for a little while? Your brother needs his rest. It's OK, Mom. He's only gonna be here for a little while. Please? All right. But the minute Mike starts nodding off, you hit the road. Thanks. I'm really going to miss you not going fishing tomorrow. I wish you can go. Yeah, me too. I've never been to the river without you. Hey, no sweat. I was going there when I was 10. Besides, uh, you'll have your friends with you. That'd be cool. Just like you used to go with Ricky. Yeah. Mike, did you really see him? <sighs> I swear I did, Ben. Everyone thinks I'm a few sandwiches short of a picnic. I believe you. Thanks. If everyone did, I wouldn't be stuck in bed all stinking weekend. <sighs> hey, I'll tell you what. Mom and Dad are going grocery shopping on Saturdays, right? Before they leave, come up and wake me. I'll go with you. You will? Yeah, sure. It's not like I'm really sick anyway, right? Cool. So what did Dad's joke before me? Was it dirty? No, it was just too grown up for you to understand, Ben. Besides, it wasn't that funny. I think yours are much better. Want to hear one? Hit me, brother. OK. Ask me why I'm a great comedian. Why are you a great Chime comedian? Chiming. All right. I think you're going. Uh, well, well, I need my tackle box. Yeah, yeah, my tackle box. You know what's in the garage? Has everyone here gone wacky? Come on, go get your stuff. Mom and I will give you a ride to Gower's River. Um, that's all right, Dad. I'll walk. Don't be ridiculous. It's a long hike. Okay. Good. And don't sound so excited about it.
wants me, let me get over with. I'm sick of this. Hey, isn't that where your brother's friend got killed? Keep moving. I don't want to hear any more about Ricky. Here I am. What do you want from me? Cold. Hey! Sorry, it was an accident. Yeah. What did you do that for? Sorry, another accident. I tried to save you, all right? I tried. I did whatever I could. If that wasn't good enough, do whatever you want to me. I'm not here to hurt you, Mike. You're my best friend. You try to save my life. Why do you keep coming after me? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? That's great. Warn me. You know, what's so important that you have to come up here and... It's Ben. What? I tried to tell you yesterday at school. You must go to him before it's too late. He's at the bridge. My bridge. I miss you, Ricky. I miss you too, Mike. Get going. It's a long ride, and we don't want Ben on this side just yet.
tough. It's a break or a spray, but they're going to have to go see Dr. McBride. It was all right. You're all right, man. You'll make it. Okay? Thanks, Mike. So sweaty. Come on. Right, let's go. Next day, a man who was fishing found the remains of Ricky Haggard. Why had it taken so many years to find him? Mike Buckley will tell you that it's because he wasn't even down there. Not at least until he had paid back a favor to an old friend. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Until next time.